Previously on The Witnesses. In fulfillment of ancient Old Testament prophecies, God sent his son, Jesus, to redeem mankind and to remind them of his love. This, this is, is my, my beloved son. son. Talk of his teaching and the miracles performed in his presence spreads throughout Israel and multitudes follow him. While Jesus' popularity among the people is on the increase, the established religious leaders, known as the Pharisees, oppose him. Jesus of Nazareth will bring nothing but harm to our nation. He must be put out of the way. Knowing there is a greater task ahead, Jesus chooses 12 men to help him in his mission and prepares them. We will go to Jerusalem. And there, I must be killed. No, Lord. No! While the Pharisees gloat over their victory, three days later, Jesus triumphantly rises from the dead. The Lord! I saw him! He's alive! What? At 90 years of age, John, imprisoned and exiled for his faith, is the only apostle of the original 12 still alive. I, alone of the 12, remain a witness to all Jesus did and said. After the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, he appeared to his disciples over a period of 40 days, teaching them about the kingdom of God. On his last day with them, just before he ascended to heaven, he said, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait there for the promise of the Holy Spirit. Once it is given, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. The disciples did as Jesus told them. This is their story. being arrested all over the city. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time before the authorities show up here. I told you, you just can't barge in here. Peter! Peter! I tried to stop him. What is it? What's wrong? It's James. James? What about him? He's been arrested. Arrested? arrested? James? But why? What? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Herod Agrippa will stop at nothing. Nothing at all. Let's go. Come on. Can you not keep the peace? Have I asked for the impossible? Get him on his feet. I have done nothing wrong. Oh, 
But you have. In fact, you have not ceased to do wrong since the death of your carpenter leader. How? By your teaching. By your continual lies about Jesus of Nazareth. Lies? We speak of what we have seen and heard. Jesus is the Son of God, the Messiah. Once and for all, the man is dead! Crucified! Buried! But he rose and lives again. <sighs> no, no. Jesus is the Messiah, the one no, foretold by the no, prophets. No, no, He is the Messiah, and I am one of his witnesses. Then he will have one less. You know what to do. You cannot stop us. You cannot stop what God is doing. You might as well try and stop the rain. You cannot stop us. You cannot stop us. James, he was the first to be martyred. Yes, the, the first of the twelve. He and I were together when Jesus called us to follow him. We never looked back. After his arrest, I never saw him again. He was a good man, a man of conviction. Seems to me all of you were. As brave as any soldier. Don't you think so, Pulo? Either that or just plain stubborn. I doubt stubbornness would have held up against the threat of death. Well, he has you convinced, doesn't he? In any case, I can appreciate a show of bravery, even in mad men. Let's say I agree. Let's call you all brave. Yeah, it wasn't always so. What? What do you mean? <laughs> See? Even he admits it. You each faced prison. Most of you death. Yes, after. After? After what? After Christ sent us the promise. The Baptist had said, after me comes one who will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. You will recall my story that Christ had died and risen again. Having been with us for a short time, he asked us to remain in Jerusalem. You will be clothed with power from on high, he said. We did as he bid us. The city is overflowing. Every year, the Feast of Unleavened Bread draws more and more people. We'd better hurry. The others are waiting. No, no, it's twice as much. Two! Two! Dotanun ya dodinari. Fek mi konam manzurash dodinarast. Man as koja bedunam. To gavran inja budi. Ah, to nabudi. These meads, they don't understand a word I'm saying. It's the same every year, isn't it? Listen, the man is asking for two denarii. Two! Understand? No, of course you don't. Ahan, pas do tamikad. In dostia. Dosti da Ruse Roshan. You can go down the street and turn to the left of the synagogue. We had remained in Jerusalem just as Jesus had asked. Praying and waiting for the day of his promise. When the Spirit would be poured out upon us. The day it came, our lives changed forever.
دروازه های او با هم بیایید چنین کوز خدا و امرس خوز گفتن و به سهم های او با تسبیح You want to pay what? No, I don't. I can't make out what you're saying. What? I can't make out what you're saying. I. What is that noise? Hasanan, خذ المال. I can't hear what you're saying. What is it? I don't know, but it seems to be coming from over there. Well, someone needs to tell them to tone it down. The I can't hear myself think. Ah! What? What is going on? Really? At this hour of the morning? But, uh, these all Galileans? Sadly, yes, but we're not all like that. Some of us actually work for a living. What? What do you mean? Well, just look at them. It's obvious they're drunk. Drunk? What mean? You know, glug, 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 glug. Ah, and now it's famine. Famine! Yes. Now you understand. But they speak in my language. And in mine. They speak of God. What? Of salvation. Of Messiah? Messiah? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, Cretans, Arabs. We hear them declare the words of God. In our languages. What is this? Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. We are not drunk, as you suppose. No. Oh, right, right. What you see here, what you hear, is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God said, I will pour out my spirit on all people and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. What is he talking about? You wonder what this is all about? How this can be? I will tell you. You will recall Jesus of Nazareth, who walked among us, a man approved of God by miracles and wonders that God did through him. He was handed over to you by God's plan, and you, with the help of wicked men, put him to death by nailing him to the cross only days ago. Crucified just outside the city walls. Yet this same Jesus, this same Jesus, God has raised from the dead. What? Raised from the dead? And made to be both Lord and Messiah. And we, we are his witnesses. We have been with Jesus before and after his death. He has poured out his spirit upon us. Impossible. You expect us to believe that? But look, you know some of these men? There is no way they could know these other languages. And speak them fluently. It is a sign. It must be. If, if what you say is true, please tell us. What shall we do? Yes. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And you too will be saved. About 3,000 people were added to our number that day. Three thousand in one day? And it was only the beginning. The numbers didn't stop there. It was like a flood. As we grew in number, we grew in the love God poured out upon us. It was like nothing anyone had ever witnessed before. What is this? He sold our cart. 
we've seen families with needs greater than our own. No one called anything their own. Even those that were opposed to us could not help but marvel at our unity and our joy. <coughs> Please, don't hurt me. Now, now, brother. We're here to help you. What? Let's tend to those wounds. Have you eaten today? A leper. No one's ever treated me kindly before. Thank you. Ah, that smell. Get going. God continued to add to our number daily. Alms for a poor man. Alms for the poor. And he blessed us with powerful miracles. Can you spare anything, anything at all? Look on us. Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. Silver and gold I do not have. Oh. oh. But what I do have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Uh, but I... What? What is that? In my legs? I, I can... Feel? What's happening? But this, this is impossible. My legs. I can feel my legs. What is it? What's happening? That's the man who can't walk. I can walk. Look. I'm healed. Praise God. I can walk. I Isn't that the man that walk. begs here every day? It can't be. He's been lame since birth. Thank you, God. Oh, praise But look at him. Just look at him. What is this commotion? What is happening? A miracle. A miracle has happened. I can walk. No. A miracle. Not again. No. These men, these holy men that healed the lame man, they did They're not. Friends. Friends. Listen to us. Be assured that we did not heal this man. It's true. We did not heal this poor man. But by faith in Jesus Christ of Nazareth is he healed. By faith in Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. We've got to do something. He healed this man. Amazing. It's a what you miracle. Go. And what will you have us do with them? Just lock them up till tomorrow. I can walk! Look! I'm here! What are you waiting for? Do it now! Go! Come with us! But why? What are you doing? It's a miracle! A miracle! These men, they healed me! Look! I can walk! I can walk! Move along now! Keep going! Nothing's happened here but some trickery! And believe me, we will get to the bottom of this. Move along now. It's much too late to call an assembly now. And we'll want the high priest present. We shall meet tomorrow. At least this arrest should discourage anyone else from trying to join these deceivers. James, come. You need to see this. Right now? Now. What is it? We have some visitors. Well, surely you can attend to... We have heard about Jesus of Nazareth and have seen the miracles done in his name. 
And we have come to know more and to join you. All of us have. <laughs> we must get Peter and... They've been taken away. The temple guards, they took them away. <laughs> By what authority did you do this? You mean this? By what authority? You have brought us here, before all of you, to give you an account for an act of kindness shown to a lame man. A uh, formerly lame man. Then know this, that it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you whole. Entirely, totally, complete. Stop! And there is no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. That's enough! What are we to do now? Well, uh, can't we lock them up? Punish them? Look at him! <laughs> <laughs> it was no miracle. Everyone knows who he is. He's been out there for years, and now, now he's a walking... What else can we call it? It was no miracle. Then what was it? That's enough. The man stands there whole. You, I, we cannot deny that. So let's not waste our time trying to! Well, perhaps... Yes. Well, these these followers of Jesus, their their numbers are growing. And and we don't want them to stir up trouble against us. I I suggest a warning. A warning? You want to let them go with just a What else can we do? Uh, you are released. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> But, be warned, you will not speak or teach in the name of this, this Jesus of Nazareth. Am I understood? I am warning you, do not test us. If we have reason to apprehend you again, we will not be lenient. You will not find favor in my eyes. Do you understand me, fisherman? I do. But answer me this. Which is right, in God's eyes, to obey you or Him? You be the judges, because we cannot help but speak about what we have seen and heard. We must bide our time. They would be fools to pursue their message further, D don't you think? Get out. Out! Lord, you've heard their threats. Their warning that we must stop teaching in or proclaiming your name or suffer consequences. Lord, help us to speak your word boldly.
stretch out your hand to heal, to show signs and wonders and greater miracles through the name of your Son, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And now they have the gall to meet here within our own temple, under our very noses at Solomon's porch. They and their growing multitude of followers. People bring the sick into the streets and lay them on mats. On mats? In the streets? Why? To hear them teach? Worse. They do it in the hopes that the fishermen... Peter? That as he passes by, his shadow might heal them. That's impossible. Please, have they gone that far? Fanatics, longing for his shadow to fall on them. And, oh, well, what happens when he walks by? <sighs> People get healed. I know, I know, it's absurd. But the talk is the sick are cured, the possessed are healed, the list goes on. Enough! I have heard enough, and I have had enough. He's right. It's time we bring a stop to this mess. One way or the other. And God loved us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus of Nazareth, that as we believe in him, he may save us, for it is by His grace that we are saved. He supplies be a real blessing to those in need. And isn't it wonderful that we can bring it? Come with us. But we haven't done anything. Why, we're just bringing supplies to the poor. You're under arrest. What is it? What's that? We haven't done anything. What's that? Let's keep them locked away and away from the people until we can decide what to do. Get me out of here! Get me Quiet out! Quiet down! Quiet! <laughs> it's just as he told us, isn't it? Jesus said that those of us that had left houses and friends and families to follow him would receive 100 times as much with persecutions. It's just like he said. Look at how our little group has grown, and how many people follow Jesus now. And how often we end up here. <laughs> <laughs> you should write your names over the door. Peter and John Sell. <laughs> <laughs> At least keep blankets in the corner. <laughs> I'm serious. It's getting cold in here. Touch these walls. <laughs> how could they even think this could stop what God is doing? The guard, checking the lock. Two doors. <laughs> we must be very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Let's pray. Lord, thank you for preparing us ahead of time. We see your word fulfilled as we find ourselves in prison. We trust you, knowing that with you, nothing shall be impossible. Huh. You look refreshed. I slept well. 
knowing that Jesus' followers were locked away? Exactly. Perhaps we can return to some semblance of normality now. We got rid of the false shepherd. Now it's time to deal with his sheep. Ah, the high priest. Good day to you, Caiaphas. Dare I ask what the first order of the day is? Yes, well, top of the list... I have already ordered the fanatics to be brought in. And I hope, my brothers, that we can come up with some innovative way to keep this problem, shall we say, tucked away? Perfect. Perhaps we can keep them tucked away indefinitely. Ah, the thought. Here they are now. No. They've what? What is it? What have they done? As I said, we found the prison shut securely and the guard. We never moved from our post. Not once. The entire night. The guards were at their post, right outside the door. But when we opened the cell... <sighs> Empty? This is impossible. My lord, what can I say? We did not move from our post the entire night. You're lying! You allowed them to <clears throat> escape! What did you do? Get drunk? No, no, not at all. We were on duty. We were doing our job. So what are you saying? That the prisoners just... Disappeared? My lord, what is it? The men you put in prison yesterday. We have found them. Where? Apprehended. Trying to leave the city, no doubt. No, sir. Come and see. God shows us how much he loves each and every one of us. Knows we not be perfect. So through Jesus Christ, his son. We can't help but want to share this joy with you, no matter what happens to us. What God is doing is just too great for us to keep to ourselves. You've seen the miracles done in the name of Jesus. Shall I take them? Again? Of course, you fool. Of course you should take them. They are escaped prisoners. Peacefully. Do not harm them. This mob would stone us in a second. Now what? Why are you here? What are they doing wrong? They're just talking to us. Why are you disrupting us? It's alright. Let them come through. This is madness. What did they do wrong? They're just speaking with us. For once we have teachers that make sense and they take them away. I don't care how you got out. You were warned. And yet you continue to do contrary to our commands. You have filled Jerusalem with your lies, teaching that Jesus of Nazareth is, is the Messiah. And if that weren't enough, you blame us for his death. Were we not clear enough when we strictly commanded you not to teach in this man's name? What is it about our orders that you do not understand? Nothing. Then what is the problem? Who should we obey? What? What are you talking about? You tell us. No. You command us not to teach in the name of Jesus. And yet, God compels us to do so. And so, I ask you, who should we obey? You or God? How dare you speak to the high priest in that tongue? These men should be locked up for you blaspheme against the God of your fathers and his high priest. The God of our fathers? The God of our fathers is precisely the one who raised up Jesus from the dead. Jesus, whom you murdered. Murdered? You blame us? By asking for his crucifixion, and thus nailing him to a cross. But God has exalted him to his right hand. Really, Caiaphas? How long are we supposed to allow this? To be king and lord. 
to give repentance to Israel and the forgiveness of sin. Forgiveness of sins? Blasphemy! And we are his witnesses, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those that obey him. They know the law. They know what they're doing. Stop them for that blasphemy. Get them out. Get them out of here. You heard the high priest. They must be silenced. Made an example of. I say stone them. Stone them for their blasphemy. If we don't do something drastic, there will be no end to this madness. None. I am aware of our problem. But sit down, all of you. Calm down. We must think. If I may, Caiaphas. Caiaphas, if I may. Come, please. Let us hear what Gamariel has to say. Let him speak. Caiaphas, if I may speak. Calm. Let us reason this out calmly. Gamaliel. My brothers, let us be careful in what we intend to do with these men. They should be careful? Stones. These I, men... I said, let Gamaliel speak! Quiet. You recall that some time ago a certain Theudas rose up claiming to be... what? Uh, somebody special. And soon... To our consternation, 400 plus men joined him. What happened? The man was slain, and all those that had followed him were scattered. They came to nothing. True, true. To nothing. After this man came Judas of Galilee. You will recall that he too convinced many people to follow him. Mm. And yes. what happened to that man? Hmm? He perished, as did all his followers. Uh, get to the point. Now, I say to you, my brothers, my very zealous brothers, leave these men alone. Leave them? Alone. Does he realize what he's saying? For if their work is of man, it will come to nothing by itself. Really? But, Let him and listen to me carefully, but... If it be of God, I tell you, we will not be able to stand against it. Really? Of God? Of God? Really? Lest we should be found to be fighting against God. Against God? Preposterous! Does Gamaliel really know what he's talking about? I believe, I believe our brother speaks wisely. This is preposterous. Is it? Is it? You've seen to the growing number of people, the crowds that have been influenced by these men, by their teaching. Better to allow these fanatics to show themselves up for the fakes they are, than to raise the anger of the mobs, their followers, against us. Well, he may be the wisest choice. I say our brother speaks wisely. Let them expose themselves. Let the mobs be the ones to condemn them. It may be the well, now, well, it may be the wise we just need patience. Let them die out. Fine. But let's first warn them not to speak in the name of Jesus, and let us warn them sternly. Sternly enough that they know we mean business. They must be letting us out. It's about time. Let's go. A gift from the Pharisees. What? Ah! Let this serve as a warning. I have a feeling we'll be seeing them again. Peter! Peter! Oh, my head. Let me help you. Oh, I'm fine. Are you alright, James? 
<sighs> I think I'm good for another round. <laughs> <laughs> Here, lean on me. Oh, Lord Jesus, you stood firm in the face of persecution and even death. Give us the strength to do the same. and the darkness could not understand it. We walked away rejoicing. Rejoicing? Really? Indeed. It may be hard to understand, but the more we obeyed what God had told us to do, the greater the joy and grace God poured upon us. Oh, physically it was painful, very, but God was with us. We knew it, and our faith in Jesus and his message didn't diminish. It grew, as did our boldness. Day after day in the temple and house to house, we didn't stop teaching the message, the good news of salvation through Jesus, the Messiah. People's lives were changed we, the Twelve, were no longer the only ones preaching. God poured out His Spirit upon others in mighty ways and multiplied miracles. <laughs> Praise God! Do you see how much God loves us? Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, that will I do. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Now, let's give this little one something to eat. You need your nourishment too, Stephen. You haven't stopped all day. Stephen! Miriam! My husband, he's not doing well. well what, what is it? We've been out of food for a few days and I don't know what to do. Well, I do. Look, God provided just in time. But Stephen... I'll be back. Oh, thank Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. As the number of believers grew, so did the need to tend to them, teaching, praying, taking care of our poor, the sick, the elderly, the widows. It was a tremendous and ever-growing task. Much too big for us. We needed a solution, help from others. We discussed and we prayed together, and God soon showed us what to do. We chose seven men, men that had proven themselves as caring, sacrificial, and capable. These seven proved to be just the help we needed. Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, Nicholas, and Stephen. It was such an exciting, amazing time. We were a mixture of the most unlikely people you could imagine. Young and old, wealthy and poor, educated and unlearned. Even some of the priests became believers. <laughs> but no Roman soldiers. What? <laughs> but of course! Why, soldiers were among some of the ones that Jesus himself first spoke to. Jesus? Yes, yes! Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I do believe, Pulo. It all seems to make sense to me. You should consider it, too. <laughs> now, you're doing the same thing he is. So then... Well, it was a time of great growth, but the servant is not above his master. Jesus had told us, 
If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Yet, that was not something new. Not for us, the Twelve, that is, but for the new believers. For many of them, it was something new. The time of testing. He was pierced for our transgressions. The prophet Isaiah stated it very clearly, and this is one of many prophecies that speak about Jesus. So you're saying the Messiah, the long-awaited one, was meant to be crucified like a common criminal. How could you even think that? Most of us conceived the coming of the Messiah as a strong ruler that would come to enforce the law, and yet the scriptures prophesy he was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And you insist this, this prophecy refers to Jesus of Nazareth, a carpenter who was sentenced to death? Hung upon a cross. That is not quite the picture of a savior, is it? It depends. A savior from what? From Rome? Or a savior from our sins? Jesus of Nazareth died as the Lamb of God, the ultimate Passover sacrifice. And he does come to reign in our hearts. I've heard enough. But listen. He's just wrong. He has to be. But... But what? Well, there's nothing we can say that he doesn't refute. With scripture, no less. And it seems, as you can see, that people listen to him, even some of our own. Regardless, he's wrong. But unless we do something, he'll continue to persuade more. We have to find a way to stop him. Hmm. Come with me. I believe I have a solution. You heard him say that? You have no doubt? Would I lie to you? This Stephen, we have heard him say blasphemous things. You were there? I heard it with my own ears. He has spoken blasphemy against Moses. <gasps> and against the law. You are certain? Well, I tell you, that man Stephen is a blasphemer. Then I will speak to Caiaphas immediately. And anyone that receives Jesus that believes there he is. Take him out of the way. Step aside. Out of the way. It's all right. Don't worry. Step away. We have our orders. What's the matter with you? Move. Where are you taking them? This man speaks blasphemy against Moses and against the law. We have heard him. We have been present. Are these things true? <sighs> Is what they say true? My brothers and fathers, listen and think about our history. How often in our past God sent deliverance in ways which were contrary to our expectations. Think of of Joseph. Joseph! He was a great ruler, a, a deliverer of our people! A Slave! Sold by his own brothers to traitors. And if that wasn't humiliation enough, he languished in prison for years, placed there unjustly by his master and forgotten of all men. But when the time came, God raised him up to be, as you say, a ruler and deliverer of our people. And what about Moses? What about him? When he announced to our forefathers that God intended to free them from Egypt, how did they respond? You don't know? Don't be impertinent! Who made you a ruler over us? That's what they said. And yet, God delivered them through great signs and wonders, pestilence, hail, darkness, the Red Sea parting. And yet, what happened? They rejected Moses as they traveled in the wilderness. Brothers, we look back on these events and shake our heads and wonder how our fathers could have been so stubborn, so resistant of the Holy Spirit. Was there ever a prophet in our history that our fathers didn't persecute? What are you getting at? Our fathers even killed the prophets that predicted the coming of our Messiah. Are we any different? 
Is he lecturing us? Do you dare teach us? You have killed, crucified, the very one whom God has sent. I can see where this is going. Jesus of Nazareth, the Messiah. Can't you see? Look at the miracles done in his name. The liberation from sins that comes in believing on him. For Jesus of Nazareth. Stop right there. He is enough. The Son of God. Blasphemy! 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 He has written his own death sentence. Death! Death! Look! What is it? What is he looking at? I can't see anything. I... I see the heavens open. And Jesus, the Son of God, standing at the right hand of God. Jesus stands at the right hand of God. How, how could you say that? Out! Take him out! You know what to do with him. Receive my spirit. Do not. Please, do not charge these people with this sin. <sighs> one by one, the accusers, those that had taken Stephen's life, picked up the robes they had laid at the feet of one man. We thank you, Lord, for the way in which you continue to guide us, even in the midst of so much conflict. Thank you for the courage you give to those that guide us. Take them to the prison. All of them. Please let us go. Please. My child. Who look after my child? You should have thought about that before getting involved with these people. Take her. Joshua. Joshua. We're ready. Take them away. I'll take 12 of the soldiers to the next location. But sir, we've already been to four places. I don't think that... Sir, I will not rest until we rid ourselves of these deceivers, until we rid ourselves of anything contrary to God's law. Saul made havoc of the church, entering every house and dragging off men and women, placing them in prison. Take them away, find out where the others are, and if they won't talk, Make them. A time of great persecution arose against us, all of us, and we, we were all scattered. It was a time of great suffering. So Saul, he put an end to the spreading of your message. Not at all. What? You just said that everyone was scattered, your work, disrupted. Indeed. Our work was disrupted, and the believers were scattered everywhere, spreading the message. We all, like sheep, have 
gone astray, we have turned to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. I wonder... Step back. I... I mean no harm. I'm afraid we cannot say the same. What is it? I... I meant no harm, sir. It's just... Let him speak. Obviously, you're no match for him. Well? The text you were reading. Do you understand it? Ah, uh, that. Perhaps I could, if someone would explain it to me. Perhaps I... Perhaps I can help. Hmm... I am under authority of Candace, the Queen of Ethiopia. I'm afraid my guards are very zealous for my well-being. As is God. Tell me, what were you reading? He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent. So he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, his justice was taken away. And who will declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. Who is the prophet referring to? Himself or some other man? I will tell you. So Jesus of Nazareth, he is the one the prophet speaks of here. Yes the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. What would stop me from being baptized right now? Do you believe? With all your heart. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Well, what are you waiting for? What? What happened? Stop! Stop this caravan right... Oh! Sir, sir! Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> am I all right? Of course I am all right. For I have found the one who was pierced for my transgressions, who took my punishments and by his wounds... Sir, I... I am healed! I believe with all my heart! And so, I baptize you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, Jesus is the Lamb of God. Jesus is the Lamb of God! <laughs> didn't mean to disturb your prayers. I was finished. We've been kept informed. You've done a good job, Saul. Jesus. The Lamb of God. They teach that Jesus died for the people's sins. That through him, we have forgiveness with God. They teach our people to turn their backs to holy law, God's law. From as far as I can remember, this has been my consolation, my everything. We have been entrusted with such a treasure, such a holy treasure. And I, for one, 
will do anything within my power to preserve it. Anything. Uh, oh yes. I, well, I nearly forgot. The High Priest, he has granted your request. I gather you are pleased. Sirs, I beg you to pardon me. Off again? To do God's will. What a dedicated man, Saul of Tarsus. I tell you, history will remember that name. He is indeed a driven man. A righteous and driven man. We ride on immediately. Where to? Damascus. Now? At this hour? Now! I will not stop until every blasphemer is imprisoned. Until this deception stops. I will fulfill my duty to God. And nothing, absolutely nothing shall stop. Ah! Ah! Master Saul! What, what is this? Saul. Saul. Saul, why do you persecute me? Master Saul, are you all right? P persecute? Who are you? I am Jesus. What? J Jesus? Who is he talking to? I don't see anyone. Jesus. Get up. Go into the city, and there you will be told what to do. Master Saul. Master Saul, are you all right? <gasps> his, his eyes. I, I cannot see. I cannot see! It's been three days. Not one bite of food or a sip of water. I don't know what happened to him, but... Ananias. I have come to see Saul. What? You realize he's come to arrest the likes of you? I don't think this is a good... Is that him? Saul? You are... Saul of Tarsus. I am, my name is Ananias. I have been led here by a vision. I know who you are, what you have done. You have arrested and imprisoned many believers. But something has happened to you now, hasn't it? Saul, Jesus has spoken to me. I, Jesus has told me that he has chosen you to proclaim his name to the Gentiles and their kings and, and to the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. He said to me, it will cost you, Saul, it will cost you everything. Do you understand that? Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you has also sent me, that you may see again <gasps> and be filled with 
the Holy Spirit. Oh! oh. Jesus. Jesus. Members of the Jesus sect have been arrested and put away in several cities. Reports are that the number of gatherings have diminished or that current followers have been driven into hiding where we hope they will simply die out. The threat of imprisonment or stoning has proven to be a major deterrent to any conversions. Good. <laughs> Very good. I must say, we have one to thank for this progress. Saul of Tarsus. His zeal is unmatched. A staunch defender of our faith and traditions. And where is he now? Off to Damascus to continue his mission. I expect word from him any day. By your permission, my lord. I... I have word from Damascus. Ah, news of Saul, no doubt. And now for the good news. No. What is it? No! What has happened? No! I tell you with certainty, there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved except that of Jesus of Nazareth, the Son of God. Saul? A Christian? He was a new man. Jesus tends to do that. Change people. Let me help you. A walk would do you good. So, that's it? That was the end? No, 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 no. That was only the beginning. For Saul, and for many other people. So, what happened? What happened after that? That is another story. And if you come down, I may just have the strength to tell you all about it. <laughs>